I think we started talking baby talk when we were still dating, maybe 10 years ago. We both always had wanted children. I knew Jason always wanted kids, and so I was okay with that. When we found out that I was pregnant, it was shocked. All of a sudden, this idea of having a baby is in an instant real. You just really don't know what to expect. You sort of have to be ready for anything. I felt very empowered during my pregnancy and during my birth. And then we brought him home. And as we got him from the hospital, I remember we put him in his crib and he was asleep. And we looked at each other and we said, now what? <laughs> Welcome to Being Mum. I'm Sarah Rippard. Join me as we journey into the exciting world of babies, pregnancy, family, and beyond. Knowing what you know now, do you wish you had spent more time really discussing sort of what those changes would be like once you had Mason? Yeah, I do. I had no idea what was coming. Couples really underestimate the stress that a baby has on a relationship. And I can't tell you how many times a woman has sat across from me in the office and said, how come nobody told me? How come no one said it was this hard? Girl, life has a habit. We're run ragged, we're tired. I know. It's a 6 a.m. wake-up call. I mean, we haven't set an alarm in two years. You know, I don't want to be the stay-at-home mom. And I'm being the stay-at-home mom. I want to go out and work. You know what? I don't feel like doing this. Come on, if it was accepted, who That's wouldn't want to do real. that? That's true. I am tired of fighting with my daughter. Financially, we're not able to do as much as we thought we were going to be able to do. But the way my life is right now, I don't feel like my husband's doing his part. I don't know of a couple, I really don't, I would love to meet one, um, that has ever not fought in front of their child. I mean, sometimes I feel like I failed. You know, I failed in my moment. Sometimes parents... <laughs> They don't talk enough about the hard things. They're trying to fit into this sort of construct yes. of what's acceptable. Yes. So it becomes like a huge lie that everyone is sort of trying to keep up appearances. This is a very common experience. I had to take a good hard look in the mirror at some behaviors that maybe I had because we really had to say like, where do we need to be emotionally and, and spiritually and mentally in order to become parents? What can we start doing today Couple time, self time, and we time. We have to make our relationship a priority. I think it's very easy to forget that you need that grounded time together as a family. You just have to find it. Conscious parenting. This is what being mom is all about. It's not about an ideal. Stresses happen in life. So how do we ride the waves of stress and come back to center? This is great. This information needs to get out. The hardest thing about motherhood is that sense that I'm the only one in the universe who's going through what I'm going through. And then if you can connect with other moms, you will see that this is a shared experience. I see this time as the time of the empowered mother. It's the kind of family that we want to create. And then what choices do we need to make to create that together? I guess I would say to somebody expecting a child that it's fantastic. We don't have nearly as much time for each other as we used to. On the other hand, we have all of these wonderful things that we do together now as a family. She's just such a new, unique person and yet such a part of me. When you watch your child take in the world for the first time, you get just as excited. It's like having that sense memory of what you were like when you were a little kid. You can't know how this experience is until you've been through it. You really can't. And my your heart literally does like double in size pretty much every day. <laughs> Congratulations on being mom. Thank Just you. keep being mom. 